Welcome back to the 53rd part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework. In this one we're going to carry on with the friends list that we have started sort of in the previous video. And at the moment we have this sort of list of all the users currently using the site. Although it could be limited to sort of a certain amount or maybe the, the prioritised friends that you want to suggest for this particular user if you want to get more sophisticated with that. But at the moment it's just all the users on the site because we've only got five including the one we're logged into at the moment. Well, in, in fact four because it's it's showing up here in this list. So there's a few issues with this list at the moment that we need to address. So firstly is going to be the fact that the links should link through to the profile. Now this one works but that's just because it's the same as this profile link at the top here because it's the user that we're logged into. And that in itself is another bug that we need to fix because we don't want the user that we're logged into showing up as a part of this list. So if we click on test, for example, we should see username equals test rather than max, which is uh, currently what is showing up because the link uh, that this is uh, set to is wrong. So let's see how we can fix that. So in the last video, we edited the view so that the users were passed through and we can show up in the list. I This bugs me that I didn't put a space there. Uh, but so it's got the users being passed through, which is why we can access the users themselves. But the links, if we go to the template where we define that link, it says accounts view profile. So view profile corresponds to, so the accounts app, which is, so the accounts app has the namespace accounts. So if you're not sure of your namespace, go to your main URLs file and you can see the namespace that we've assigned to the accounts app. So it's going to accounts.urls. So go to accounts at URLs, and you can see here, view profile is this URL here. But let's say if we copy and paste this, we could do another URL. So it's going to go to the same view, so it can go to views.profile, but I'm going to call it view profile with PK. So this is going to allow us to uh, call a different URL and pass in a primary key uh, through the URL. So it allows us to be able to uh, have an identifier uh, for which we can use to choose which user we need to populate that profile page with. So to do the uh, regular expression in the URL I'm going to do p uh, so what I want to do is uh, I want to say this is the primary key so primary key is going to be the uh, name of the variable that's going to be passed through to the corresponding view, so pk. Uh, so we're going to need to change the view to correspond with that. And what else? So let's do uh, backslash digit plus. So one or more digits is what this URL is going to expect. So an integer in other words. Uh, I think that should be okay. Uh, I'm just going to put a slash here because we have uh, to be consistent with the other URLs and that looks like it should uh, should be okay. So I need to change the link to say with pk in the template. So view profile with pk to correspond with that new URL. Now what I also need to do is I need, I need to specify uh, the primary key because it asks for one in the URL. So I need to say primary key is equal to uh, user dot primary key. So the user object is the one that we passed in through the uh, through the users which were passed in in the view here. So in the template you can see we've got the uh, primary key being passed through to this new URL which goes to another view so it's going to be the uh, profile page. Now the views.viewprofile that corresponds to this page. So if we have a look at that view we're in the accounts app now going to views and you can see view profile. So at the moment it only takes request but what we've done here is we created another URL which which takes a primary key. Now because we've already got one here that corresponds to view, view profile, we don't necessarily know which URL is going to be called. So what we have to do is we have to make the parameter accepted by the view profile optional. So we can say primary key, so this is going to be required if, we, if I left it like that, but I'm going to say is equal to none. That gives it a default so that it doesn't have to require that primary key to be passed in. All that means is that if we don't call it with the primary key, it's simply going to default to 
uh, the currently logged in user, request.user. Uh, if we do have a primary key, so we can say if pk, so if there was a primary key passed in, uh, if, it, if primary key is none, then it's going to eva evaluate false and not run this block. But if it is uh, passed in, then we can say something like user is equal to user.objects.get uh, user is equal to user uh, sorry user uh, sorry pk is equal to pk that's probably the easiest thing to do and that should be all we need to do to be able to get that user object that corresponds with the user that is the one that they clicked on through the link so if we go to our home page now if they click on test then the test user object should be populated in this use variable now, assuming they passed in the primary key into the URL, which they have because of this link and how we passed it in here. So now uh, we've done that, so user is going to be equal to user, and I'm going to say else, so just if there isn't a, a primary key passed in, then there's going to be uh, user is equal to request.user just so that there's a solid default so that it's always going to populate the profile page with something. So that means if they click on, for example, this, this profile page here, then, uh, sorry, I was just waiting for the development server to refresh there. Uh, but if they click on profile page here, then it's still going to populate with something. Uh, that would be, of course, corresponding to that first URL without the primary key. So that default still works. Now, that should be okay, so if we test this now, we can click on test, and so we get an error here, because there is no image uh, associated with this user profile object. What I'm going to do just to get around this is to make this image optional for now. I mean, we could make it required if we wanted to and, and ask the user to upload an image at this point, but just to keep it simple, I think for now we're just going to go to the accounts profile template and modify that so that it, it doesn't cause this error. So accounts profile and I'm going to say if, so I'm just going to write a little bit of logic here and I'm going to say if the uh, user dot user profile dot image so if that exists then I'm going to show that image and end if. So that's all I need to do so if there is no user profile image, so if there's no image associated with the user profile object stored in the database, then don't bother showing the image. So hopefully that should fix the error, at least I would expect it to. And now we can see we don't have much data for this user. That's, that should just be because we haven't filled it out, but we can have a look if we go to the admin and we can click on users, test, so yeah, so it doesn't have any of this data, which is fine. It doesn't mean it's showing through, but just to confirm that, we can say uh, test user at email.com. Just to double check that the information is pulling through, I'm going to save that object. And if I go back to uh, wherever the homepage was, home, and I click on test, we do see that the data is in fact pulling through. And we don't see an image here because it's evaluated that there is no image associated with the user profile object. So instead of showing that Django error traceback, we instead just don't see the image, which is much better because it still gives our users something to look at other than a Django traceback, which is obviously better. In the next video, I think we're going to get around finally to talking about the uh, many-to-many -many relationship and how it can be used to create something like uh, a connection between two separate user accounts uh, so we could for example show that they had some sort of relationship for example the fact that they were friends on the social network like a Facebook friend for example 